Trend groups in Ornatrix for Cinema 4D is a great way to organize your overall hairstyle into different parts and to be able to select, modify and procedurally edit parts of your hair uh, one at a time and to apply different operators to different strand groups. So let's see how you can assign strand groups very easily using Edit Guides operator. I have a basic scene here where I have just a furball, which is good for the demonstration of strand groups. I selected my edit guides and I pre-selected one quadrant of the hair inside the edit guides. You will find the strand groups tab in the settings and if you click this tab, you will see that we have this uh, use strand groups option. If you turn this option on, you can assign strand groups with this edit guides operator to selected strands. So uh, there are various options here that you can use. First, let's assign strand groups. So to this selected quadrant of the hair, I'm going to assign strand group of one. By default, all of the hairs don't have a strand group or in other words, the strand group is zero. So zero is the all encompassing value for strand groups. I'm going to select uh, this quarter of the hair, assign a strand group of two and then I'm going to select this one and uh, note that this uh, this field here is not a spinner or a slider this is instead a text box it allows you to specify more than one strand group at a time so for example I can assign a strand group of both 1 and 2 at the same time and assign it to my hair uh, here maybe I will assign a strand group of 3 and 4 at the same time so uh, note that the first strand group that we assigned, uh, the first two ones, are just a single value, whereas these two quarters contain two strand groups. So each strand here is both part of strand group uh, two and three, uh, or rather one and two, and this one is both part of three and four. So besides assigning strand groups, you can also select by strand groups. So if I type in one here and I press select, I select all the strands that are in the first strand group. So this was the first quarter and then the this quarter over here where it is both part of strand group 1 and 2. If I type 2 and press select you see that only this part and this part gets selected. So this one only has a strand group of 2 and this one again has strand group 1 and 2. We can also select two strand groups at the same time by typing in 1 and 2 and pressing select or we can select a whole range of strand groups. So for example, if I want to select all hairs and strand groups from two to four, I can use this colon denominator here. I use two colon four and press select to select all the hairs from two to four. So two, three, and four. This excludes all the hairs that are just in the strand group of one. We can also use uh, the previous and next options to select hairs that are in the next or previous strand group. So if I just select these hairs over here and press next, it's going to go down the list uh, of the for the next strand group. So that's two and then again three and then four. And then again, it's going to go one, two, three, four. So this iterates over the strand groups and allows you to quickly uh, shuffle over all these hairs that are in different strand groups in the scene. You can also check this option here called select by group to be able to select all strands within a certain strand group even when you're just selecting some of the strands initially. So if I just select this one strand, it is part of strand group one. So when I select it, it selects all of the hair strands that are in the strand group of one. Again, if I select this one, it's part of strand group two, but it will select all the hairs that are in the second strand group. So this is very useful when you want to edit whole chunks of hairs, uh, not as individual strands, but as part of strand groups. And the final thing you can use is the assign unique button. What this will do is this will find a strand group which is not yet used inside the object and then it will assign this strand group to the currently selected strands. So if I just select some strands and press assign unique it's going to assign a whole new strand group which was not previously used by the hair. And that is pretty much all the options that you have in this strand groups tab, which simplifies uh, the way you organize your strands into parts and pieces that are very manageable and easy to work with.